All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awaken the Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. And my good friend, Philippa King, is back with us. And um, I'm excited because we're going to be talking about clearing repeat patterns and embracing a new chapter. And so part of what we're going to talk about um, is, you know, thinking that, you know, we've healed something. Why is it showing up again? We've all talked about that. We've all said that, right? And it's like, oh my God, I thought I healed that. And <laughs> why is it coming back up again? We're also going to be talking about freedom from karmic debts, vows, and soul agreements that keep repeating patterns in play. We're going to be talking about dissolving cords that are tying you to low vibration people, places, and situations. Um, we're going to talk about clearing your vibrational fields and timelines of limiting patterns. We're going to talk about reclaiming lost soul fragments to feel more whole and complete. And we're going to anchor in more of your soul light to embrace a new chapter individually and collectively. And so we're also going to be doing a guided process, meditation, and uh, taking live caller questions as well. So um, I'm so excited because, you know, Philippa was here last time with us in March. We had a wonderful time, wonderful conversation, a wonderful uh, process, just fantastic. And she's back with us now. And if you don't know Philippa, she is an intuitive energy healer, teacher, and the founder of Cosmic Light Codes, an ancient ascension and healing system that is new to earth at this time. And Philippa has been teaching people all over the world for two decades to clear their systems, connect more deeply with their inner light, healing gifts, and remember they are a unique expression of source energy so they can shine as their true selves. She's joining me today to discuss how to move into a new chapter in your life, free yourself and the world of low vibrational repeat patterns and why this is so important right now. And um, I'm just, I'm going to share with you in a second, Philippa, something that it's like, oh, I just got an aha. So uh, <laughs> welcome to the show. So glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Hello, lovely to be back again. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. So glad you're here. And, you know, one thing I just want to share really quickly was earlier today during um, my guided process that I was doing with my group, we were working with Mother Mary and one of the messages or gifts that I received from her was a book. And then the message from her about the book was, it's time for a new chapter. <laughs> so oh, <it's> like, <laughs> perfect. perfect. Perfect, right? Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yeah, it's like, oh, interesting. So, um, you know, so let's, there's so much to talk about, right? So much to talk about. So let's talk about, you know, what, what is this about, you know, these the same patterns we see we keep repeating over and over again it's like we we don't even know that sometimes it's happening but it's like oh my god not again oh my god not again why is it happening again and that's what that's usually what comes down to people are asking why is it happening again but instead yeah. it's for me it's more like it's not a matter of why is it happening again but you know what are you processing right now what are you aware of right mm-hmm yeah okay so um my guides picked the subject for tonight <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and it was very much about the this shifting into the new chapter, which we've been doing tons of work on for the last couple of years, a lot more intensely the last few months, and um, really the, it's a lower vibrational field. And then we're making this quantum leap, if you like. We're, we're all gathering enough light to leap into uh, the next grid up, the next vibration up, if you like. And um, so a lot of old repeat patterns have been coming round again, and I know when all this period of lockdown and everything started, my initial um, thought and reaction was, oh, I'm, I want to jump on and do some EFT and do some things mm -hmm. that will help people tap and work through their stuff. And my guides are like, nope. Best thing you can do is dive deep, go into yourself, do more of your own processes at the moment. And I felt so guilty. I had a massive argument with them at the time. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> it was all about another layer of these repeat patterns. Yeah. So you said a lot of people go, why has this come up again? Um, you know, I always say it's because it's active in your vibration. And when we've got a big story or a big theme or something big that needs to be purged or to be cleared, it might be from childhood, it might be ancestral, it can be from other planets, it can be a collective, it can be something we've chosen to come and, and process um, with other souls as well as part of a group process or collectively for the planet. It can seem so big that, you know, it's a huge body reaction. You know, it might be, 
you get a certain amount of money and something always goes wrong or you have a certain type of person in your life or a certain type of situation that always occurs and when that occurs or when that pattern happens it's like your whole body goes into kind of freeze or fight or flight or some kind of massive I call it yeah. response you know like oh my god this is too huge and quite often what happens is then then that's what drives people to try some different kind of healing approaches to try different processes to go okay there's something going on here I'm going to work a bit deeper and find what it is and then people find whichever process or healing modality or practice works for them and they get to like the roots of it and they start to clear a whole load and then they think yay I'm done I've healed that Woohoo! let's go forward in life and then it comes up again mm -hmm. but what often happens and I'll be very interested with the callers when they call in is that when it comes up again it's not that bleh, feeling it's not quite so intense um and really my experience of that with clients and and teaching students and in my own processes is that we are this bubble of love and light we are a frequency of love and light we're an eternal being we're just it's just part of us having this physical experience and when we clear the big root of it if you like or a big layer of it it's not so reactive but there still may be echoes and mm -hmm. aspects that are still existing in our vibrational field so it might and and the best i call it hello and goodbye so um you know if something pops its head up to say hello again you know if we go into the resistance and the fear and we're like, oh my God, I can't go through that again or that situation or I thought I'd healed that. Then that locking on is almost the thing that gets us stuck again. But if we yeah. can kind of breathe through it, use our processes through it, actually take a moment to go, well, oh, how is my body responding to that this time? How's my energy responding to that this time? Quite often, the intensity is less. Yeah. And I feel it's like, okay, I've cleared that chunk and then because you've cleared that chunk, you've started to expand more fully into who you are and let more of your light into your field. And as that light gets clearer and fills out, there might be a little layer you haven't touched on here because you'd worked in the stuff here. So that bit just kind of comes up for a little bit of a, oh, I'm still a little bit here. And then you can kind of dust off a layer as you go until there's nothing left in your field. Um, so that's very much my perspective on why it's coming up. There's just still an aspect of it um, active in your vibration. A, a really, really plain, clear example would be like um, a fear of something very physical like spiders, which I always had. I had to work very hard on that one. <laughs> um, and, you know, you could work on lots of aspects of that, but you might have missed one aspect. Mm -hmm. So that little bit will still be there waiting to be to be practiced on and you know um, i was um i was telling my clients today because we were talking a little bit about this and i was saying you know sometimes you know those triggers you know we're getting triggered again by something similar right that, that happened before so that same pattern and i was i was telling them also that you know if you don't go into judgment of it you know it's like be aware of it acknowledge it see it but don't go into judgment because if you go into judgment of it, whatever that is, or yourself for reacting, you're going to get stuck in it again some more, right? Yeah, it's like that <gasps> getting caught, the resistance. Yeah, totally. If, if you go against it, judge it, get stuck on it rather than breathe through it, become the observer, let it come past, see how it is and go from that. I, I like you use that word reactive again as well because for me that's it's you're once you're desensitizing a trigger once you're showing you've cleared that from your vibration you're not reactive you get to a point where you can respond exactly yeah because you become able to become that more neutral observer yeah and but unfortunately you know that's the thing it's like so some of us <laughs> we, we we tend to react first and then we judge and then we you know, react to our judgments. And then it's like, then it's a whole, you know, cycle, Snowball. you know, and, yeah. it's, and it's like playing and getting stronger. And then it's like, oh 
God, why again? You know, it's like, why is this happening again? So it's, it's really important to recognize that what's happening is not the same, right? It's not the same intensity, like you were saying, but to breathe through it. But what, what are the processes can we do in that moment when we're like, okay, I'm going to take, I'm going to take a breath. I'm going to observe, but what processes can we do to not get stuck, you know, and to, and to be able to move through that easily. Okay. So grounding in that moment, if you can, uh, so using breath work or anything, getting outside, getting some movement going. So you don't go into that freeze in yeah. the body that like, oh, where you get stuck on it because if you can get some movement going before that starts you won't get stuck in the head where that takes you round and round in circles um oh what was i going to say as well i was just going to add really quickly caroline is making a great point she said on the show it's easy to be wise and easy going but in that moment when it's happening it's not so easy <laughs> yeah so i'm just trying to i i always find um having some words um almost like a question so having observer words ready so you can kind of say to yourself when something comes up go oh how interesting mm -hmm. i wonder what i've still got to clear about that mm -hmm. yeah in that, that something along those lines it can, i'm quite long and wordy so it might be something much simpler for others but you know oh I wonder what's left of that to clear or I wonder why that showed up again. Yeah. It puts a different perspective on, Oh my God, I'm going to, I mean, I had PTSD for years I, and then went into specializing with working people for, for over a decade because it was so crippling and any little trigger used to feel like I'm going to go down that hole and never get out again. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. I really had to learn a lot of, um, processes for jumping into that observer mode and for me using a kind of observer thought or observer question and if you are a person that's got some big patterns going on and has some big trackers and goes into that freeze take a bit of time when you're relaxed and calm to write down a few ideas of those that you can kind of have around your house having your um, journal having your daily practice and breathing and grounding and movement i think movement is one of the biggest because otherwise we go into freeze mode yeah movement is key breathing movement shifting your energy and judy saying we have the power to command the energy kind of like saying yes. oh you again if you're not from love be gone be gone or just oh you again you know and just even that questioning it is, is going to take you out of your head and out of that reactive mode and she's yeah. saying send the energy lots of love and light and bind it up away to the light or back home. So like, you know, once you recognize that you're in a pattern or a repeating pattern, something you've done before, it's like, okay, what can I do, be or do different right now than what I've done before? In the past, I reacted. Okay, this time I'm not gonna react, so I'm going to send it love and light. I'm going to say, oh yeah, you again. Okay, cool, good. You know, good to see you back, but um, I'm busy at the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk to it as well, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah and take a note take a note okay i've noted that's there i'm going to carry on with where i am and what i'm doing yeah and uh if you whatever processes you've got for connecting to source or connecting to your angels or connecting in whatever way that you already use you can call on all the help that you can just to alleviate that in that moment as well and say okay i've got the message here there's something more to shift but yeah and and that's the thing that when something is coming up again it is a message for you that there's still something there that needs to be cleared or healed or loved or, you know, something. Right. And so it's an awareness. And so, you know, it's a blessing actually, because it's like, it's coming to your awareness so that you can do something about it. You know, it's not in the unconscious, it's not in the subconscious, it's coming to your conscious awareness so that you can do something about it. And usually I think around those times is it's coming to your awareness because you can do something about it. Yeah, I, I very much believe it's like as you start to clear and, and bring in more of your light and expand more into your field, your field gets clearer and brighter. And because of that vibrational shift, then anything lower vibration doesn't want to hang around in that space. It doesn't fit anymore. It doesn't, it's not part of your frequency anymore. So it's, it's almost like a, a little pop up on your computer, you know, oh, I need your attention. Oh, I yeah. need your attention. I, yeah. I'm still in your vibration. I'm not meant to be here, you know. Ah, that's a good point. I'm not meant to be here. 
Yeah. Right. So when yeah. you have that awareness of, oh, this is something that's showing up, but it's not meant to be here. Okay. So if it's not meant to be here, then, you know, maybe I can do something to have it not be here. Yeah. <laughs> right. And so energetically, you know, consciously talking to it, whatever, all sorts of different ways. And we all have tools. And, you know, most of you who are watching or listening right now, you all have tools because you've been on these shows many times, you know, so you, you do have the tools, but we just don't always remember to use them. No, and generally when we're feeling crap, we don't do it. So that's when we need them most. And it might be bringing some colour to the area, bringing some love and light to the area in whatever way you, you want to and you need in that moment. But there's no right or wrong, is there? We're all, we're all yeah. unique. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so, you know, it, it, it's, it's an important time too that these patterns are showing up because it is the time to clear them, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so part of that is so that we can step into more of who we are, step into our light, step into our mission to, to shine. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I very much believe that that's why I think all of us chose to come now, knowing full whether we, when we're in the middle of it, <laughs> we might be thinking, no, I didn't, but we did at a soul level. We absolutely did decide to come here now. And I think we're, we've come to clear up all the past lifetimes this time. You know, and sometimes <clears throat> whole ancestral stories as well, because we've come at this time of this really big shift to the to the next um, level of vibration. This new chapter, this new chapter that doesn't have these low vibration energies and patterns in them. So, at a soul level, we've gone. You know what? My ancestors have been trying to clear that pattern up for seven generations, seventy six generations. You know, it's got to go. I'm going. I'll do it this time. So try and carry it all the way through and purge and process. And I think that's why we're here now when there's so many different healing modalities available to suit every single person and every single vibration as well. You know, we couldn't have done this at any other time. So it is perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so, you know, and that's the thing is like, you know, we're clearing our lifetimes we're also clearing our ancestral um families patterns as well so it's a, it's a big big service <laughs> and sometimes you know we need to be reminded of that because when we start to like you know look at some of this pattern it's like oh my god you know it's like, i really chose to be here at this time to do this you got to be kidding me why would i choose this you know it's yeah. so hard or it's so difficult or it's like this is not fun right so why would i why would we choose to be of service in that way <laughs> yeah absolutely it doesn't feel like it when we're in it does it no but no. it is a great and it's a great gift to ourselves as well as to the planet you know so every single little or big low vibrational pattern belief stuck energy um disrupted currents uh what we've been clearing lots of weird things like that at the moment um so anything like that that is still hanging around in us is hanging around in Earth's vibration, is hanging around in humanity's vibration. So every time we clear even one little bit, just give yourself a massive congratulations. And I think we're so good at going, oh, well, I think I've healed that. I'm on to the next thing. Oh, I'm going to be cross at myself because this has popped back up and I can't have done it properly. And that means I'm not doing it well enough, you know. Yeah. Whereas actually, you know, go, if you can use any of those tools we were talking about to real, just check yourself, you know, is the reaction as big as it used to be? Oh, how interesting. No, it's, it's not quite the same this time. Ah, oh, perhaps that means what I am doing is starting to shift things and I am starting to feel lighter and that is only happening because I've got that intention and my energy is starting to shift and my vibration to a lighter space. Absolutely. So. And so, you know, this, you know, you're talking about freedom from the karmic debts, from the soul contracts, from all the agreements that we've had, you know, once we have, once we start to use tools and do the clearing and et cetera, and once we start to experience more and more freedom, we start to have more light in our fields. We have, we start to have more energy in our available to us so that we can create, right? Yeah. And at the same time, it's like, <laughs> some of us I know are still like, Okay, but I'm still not there yet. I've, I've, I've been doing this for 20 years or 30 years or, what, or whatever many years. And, you know, like Lisa's saying, we have tried so many energetic techniques, 
but without major success. So some people I know have, you know, have not been perceiving the success the way that they would like. But the mm-hmm. thing is, it's it's more of a gradual thing and it's, and it's a cumulative thing, is it not? Yeah, I, I certainly feel that it's... Um... Some you can have a massive big whoom, it's gone. But that may have been lots and lots and lots and lots of little steps. And at that moment it was ready to go because of all those other steps and all those other little shifts that you've made. And and nothing, unfortunately, is straightforward even on yeah. here to say, oh, it's definitely belief, or it's definitely a feeling, or it's that, that, and that. Because most things are, are, are all a bit of a, a tangle of vibrations of a whole lot of stuff. And so what often you're doing is you're taking off one piece and you're taking off another piece and you're letting more light come into that piece and more of that piece. And it may be there's one still very, that they can feel very strongly one strong chord there. And I, I know it's, I've been doing it sort of well over 20 years and a lot of the people I know have as well. And we've found that certainly the last few years, it's like almost unlearn everything we've learned. You know, I've been nipping up sauce and sipping off everybody's blocks and, shitting them off everywhere for the last 10 years and now my work's changing again it's um yeah it really is a big shift (laughs) at the moment (laughs) yeah absolutely so 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 that's when you have to try and be patient with yourself like okay you know what right now there's a lot of stuff coming up for a lot of people so there's a lot of stuff that's coming up for the collective and so it may feel like not much is happening but actually every little thing that we do is helping everybody right in, yeah. in a much bigger way than than in the past right um and i think that's i think right now that's what's happening is that there's so much happening in the collective that it feels like nothing is working but that's not true right so continue doing your work yeah. and you you will see well it depends also on what you're looking for when you're talking about results right it's like it's going to be different for each person and each time you do a clearing you're going to feel different i just had um a session yesterday with the with my mentor with my mentors and it was not pleasant (laughs) right it was not pleasant it was not good but today i'm feeling so much better you know and so at the time yesterday it's like okay i'm not even sure if this worked i'm not even sure if anything happened blah 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 it's like i feel like crap i really did feel like crap but today it's like oh yeah i'm feeling lighter i'm feeling clearer i'm feeling like yes things are shifting things are changing but it you know the change wasn't the way I thought it was going to be. It was completely yeah. different, right? And so yeah. it's about getting our head out of the way and saying, "All right, we are we are clearing, we are healing, we are changing things up." And you may not see the result you're looking for right away, but give it time. Continue yeah. to create, right? Continue to create. Continue to do your work, and we still have to do our spiritual practice every day, even more so now. Mm-hmm. And yeah, like you're saying, I. I... I feel like I, I certainly have felt myself not recent. I think maybe about Christmas time, but a lot of people I know over the last couple of years I felt like they're almost in this holding pen, mm-hmm. like all the revved up energy waiting to go completely forward. But some shifts can't go until everyone makes it together. You know, like there's a big purge of, of uh, as has been coming up at the moment with all this stuff going on fear and isolation and if if i see a big theme coming up that to me says oh great that's coming up to be cleared so that's been coming up on a collective scale so we can do so much ourselves and we can check we can use muscle testing we can talk to our guides we can check in with source you know what i find really helpful is to check the percentage of that that i've cleared Mm -hmm. So I check with source, you know, okay, how much of this have I shifted for myself? And is it highest and best? I do any more of that today? Or is it, or is that enough for today? You know, to honor my process, my body, my energy, and the same with clients, you know, sometimes a little bit is absolutely huge for them on one day. Another day, I'm quite sort of, let's get stuck in and get to the bottom of things. But you have to go a bit more gentle um, sometimes because shifts can be so big. Mm -hmm. And I think if people have a sort of, let's say success, it's a classic one, isn't it? You know, Um, so people have got in their mind, like you're saying, you know, okay, I'm going to clear this and uh, success is this definition. You know, I'm going to have this, be doing this, blah, 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 blah. And so they have some healing sessions 
and it's not exactly like that picture they had in their mind. Yeah. But it may be that they've done a lot more work on success than they've even realised, and maybe it's their definition of success that needs some healing and some work, and, and it's got other elements to it. It's, I think we're moving out of that black and white of what everything is and, and into a, a, a new definition, a new frequency of what everything is, you know? Uh, success used to be business suits, working hard, you know, the car, the, the house. Mm -hmm. And success, even in the last 10 years, is changing to be more being, having freedom, having time to, how, to do what you enjoy, to be more of an expression of yourself. So I see that really interesting that the frequencies are, are, and the definitions are changing. But yeah. yeah, I think if we've got like, okay, I'm going to have a healing session. That's it. I'll win the lottery and I'll have 200 grand in my account by Saturday night. And if I haven't, then up there's not working, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> money's a huge subject. I mean, it's one to chip away at. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. Absolutely. Um, and so Caroline is asking, will there ever be a time where we don't have anything to clear or isn't that part of being human? Well, that's a wonderful question. I've certainly asked, <laughs> Mike, I've been doing this uh, much more self-healing that's gone on to the planetary healing that's gone way back through time and it's turned into sort of two, three hours a day, some days. And I've certainly felt like, oh my God, you know, I've been doing this 20 years. There can't be more to clear for everything else. Yeah. I definitely, personally, and obviously this is only my own view, um, feel that this, this has been building to this new chapter. And it's this convergence of timelines. Like that's why all the old contracts have got to go. That's why karmic debt is up for being clear, cleared. You know, that's why it's like... Uh, We've got a blank book. It's ready to be totally a new story. And those, that old stuff cannot be in that new story. And that's why it's been such a contrast and so hard because big stuff's been coming up and feeling uncomfortable because it's got to go. There mm -hmm. is no place for it. Um, time scales. I feel it's still quite, I get, it's still quite intense till about September. Um, September is next a, month. Come on now. I That's know, I know. So. Well, I was getting like two months ages ago and it's carried on way past two months. But um, it's been about 10 months of really intense and crunchy <laughs> stuff. So I've been yeah. going, when's that going to calm down? <laughs> they said September, but the, to be fair, I've been told sooner than that and it's carried on. So I think it's always a, a, a changing a little bit to do with, um where the planets are and where everybody's at as well um but yes i definitely believe in the new chapter there will be different ways of experiencing being our more being more of connected with our non-physical selves creating in different ways that aren't about these lower vibrational stories of crap and I think, you know, as we're moving forward, the clearing and healing work is not going to be so difficult. You know, like, like it's gotten easier and easier and easier over the years. You know, it's much, much different than it used to be 20 years ago, right? It's, it's like, it's amazing how, how much we can do now in, you know, in, in a short period of time. Um, so, you know, this is, this is, a, this is the time where you know, any little bit of healing work that we do or any little bit of work that we do with our, our guides, our team, our higher selves, et cetera, it's like, it's, it's like much more powerful than, you, than before because we're more available to the energies of source, spirit, our, our guides, et cetera, right? Yeah, definitely. I, I always say no, nothing is ever wasted. You know, yeah. every single little thing you do is helping not only you, but the whole planet and humanity. You know, and, and I think it's, it's like that quantum thing. We, our linear brains think, well, you know, one plus one equals two. You need that many to change that. But it's not as more people have got more connected to their, their authentic selves and source in their own way and their guides and angels. Then it's allowed that vibration to be much, much more accessible. And it is just getting faster and faster. I mean, I've been do, running and teaching theta courses for a decade and I thought that was the fastest thing on the planet. And um, 
and, and powerful and quick. I mean, you could clear massive stuff really fast. Uh, but now it's got even quicker again. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and the thing is, like, I think we might be looking at the healing and clearing work in not say wrong way, but let's look at it in a different way. It's more about being more of your expanded self, right? And so that the clearings, you know, all that wonderful stuff that we call clearing and healing, it's just allowing us to be more of who we really are, our expanded selves. So it's actually wonderful, like I said at the beginning, when things come up, because it's like, okay, so now let me heal this and clear this so that I can be more of who I am. So that I have more access to source, spirit, etc. right? So yeah, you know, Caroline said, haven't been saying this for eons. Maybe, I, I don't remember my, you know, back in the days of Jesus, etc. but maybe, but in this lifetime, you know, have I really been doing my work enough? I don't know, maybe not. Have I been, have I been doing the work? Yes. Has it been challenging at times? Absolutely. You know, has it been easy? No. <laughs> has not no. been easy. <laughs> But is it getting easier? I think so. I think it's getting much easier. I just know for myself that the more healing work I do, the more clearing work I do, the more I connect to source, to spirit, to my guides, my angels, etc., my team, things, you know, are flowing differently, right? Things are flowing differently. And it's like, you know, I have access to more. I mean, I'm doing work now that I did not know I was going to be doing five years ago, 10 years ago. Right. Yeah. So it's like, that's, that's amazing for me that I'm even able to do all the channeling work that I do and all the healing work that I do. If you would have asked me 10 years ago, I would have been like, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't know what you're talking about or, you know, or longer. <laughs> right. So for me, it, it, you know, that's what it's about. It's about giving you more access to you and to source and spirit, etc. That's what, yeah. you know, that's what the important part is. Yeah. <laughs> so Caroline's yeah, saying, definitely. so. I guess what I'm getting at is I want an easy freedom life and been at it for over 30 years and being human is still hard and challenging and, and, and yeah, absolutely. No, I get it. You know? Um, but I, I just know that, and this is for Caroline and everybody else. It's like, you know, where I am now and where I was 20 years ago, I don't, I'm glad I'm not where I was 20 years ago. I'm a totally different person and I'm grateful for all the, challenges that I've been to because that's what got me to where I am now you know so so yes I've done a lot of work and a lot of stuff happened in my life and whatever and I'm glad I'm, I'm grateful I have no regrets because it's brought me to where I am now and, and my connection with source spirit etc now and yeah so I, you know I'm grateful so if you can come back to that point of being grateful for where you are now, and I know, Caroline, you have a lot of gifts as well. You're very connected, very intuitive. You're a healer yourself. So you know what I'm talking about. And that's what I think we have to focus on. We're so good at being hard on ourselves, though, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I, I try not to go down memory lane too often because it's like, oh, my God, why did I choose this? You know, but it's like, but you know what? In the end, you know, when I do go back and look at where I am now from where I was then, I am grateful. And I, I'm grateful yeah. that Spirit, you know, and my guys and my team have um, been with me and supported me and, you know, a lot of times carried me, you know. They carried me a lot of times, many, many more than I would like to say, you know, like they carried me and for that I'm grateful. So, yeah, I think the clearing work is going to continue for a while. Um, and then you'll know when you don't need it anymore. Yeah. I don't I'm know. Trying to get to a, feel more neutral. I think I've, I've found that I feel mu- much more neutral about things that, um, and it's, I'm like, Oh, how interesting. I recognize that that would have triggered me. Oh, and that's a, lo- a lovely place as well. Just yeah. when you can kind of see the responses change to show it's shifting a little bit, it's shifting a little bit. And then one day you're like, Oh, how interesting. Yeah. I just don't resonate with that at all now, but I can see that. And that's, that's a lovely little spot to get to as well. But yeah, I, I very much feel like we're, we're all this love and light and it's kind of been my job to declog. It's like clogged up if you like. Yeah. So more of that can't come in and so we're just kind of clearing up the stuff that's been clogging it out but 
it's becoming faster and going beyond words now. It's much more just working with the, the, the frequencies and the color and the sound and not really having to even consciously understand it so much. So all the things before, it's been very fast, but it's still been a system like find this thing, take mm -hmm. it out, mm -hmm. put yeah. the positive thing in, you yeah. know, and I find now that doesn't really work anymore. Well, it does. I mean, if you do it like that, it will work, but it's not so structured. We're kind of, as we're moving, it, we're, we're really connecting with more of that flowiness that we are, which can feel really lovely and comfortable in some healing situations, can feel really uncomfortable in others because we're used to structure and we're used to this way and let it, clearing our light out to feel a bit brighter and get rid of patterns a bit at a time is okay. But suddenly going oh i am a frequency is i think where we're going next which is yeah. a little bit absolutely because we are we are frequency we are energy we're consciousness that's what we are right it, we're not just this body this body is just you know one aspect of us really yeah, right it's now. like our little little finger or maybe yeah whole exactly <laughs> so you know tap into that 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 greater aspect of yourself and know that you know when we are when we're here working through all of our challenges our you know, we have these chords for sure with, you know, people <laughs> with low vibrations, etc., and places and situations that we've been in. But it's like, are we, are you ready to let those go now? So, you know, when you're talking about dissolving chords, you know, those attachments and those chords to low vibration, people, places, and situations, that's, that's, you know, it comes down to, are you willing to let that go now? Are you willing to let that story go now? Right? Yeah. And some of them you might not even be aware of. So some of them will really show up and you'll be very, very clear about them. Um, and a, a lot of people do cutting cords. I personally don't feel comfortable with cutting cords. I think it's a bit aggressive. So I, I like them to be dissolved and healing sent to the person and healing sent to wherever they've come from mm -hmm. um, so that the whole situation gets healed and you can just extract whatever was highest and best to learn without being too aggressive with it. Um, but I think it comes into the forgiveness thing as well, the, am I ready to let that go? Mm -hmm. It's like the, the hanging on to, um, so if it's people, situations that we know, there can be so much attachment there. Like you're saying, it can be, am I ready to, am I ready to? And if you're not, don't beat yourself up. That's absolutely fine. Just work a little bit on i wonder how that would feel to be ready to do that yeah you know maybe that is just just allowing yourself that, that possibility of i wonder what that would feel like to be ready to do that and listen to your space for that listen to your body for that does that feel a bit lighter a bit more expansive does that feel a bit heavier and that may be just a huge step you know just to do that. And you might find you do that on another day and another day. And then you suddenly go, you know what? I don't know why I feel like I'm going to book something and I'm ready to clear that now, or I've got a process and that feels like the right moment for me now. Yeah, absolutely. So. And, 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 you know, and that's the thing It's like, you know, just, you know, we talked about this before, but even when you're dissolving cords with, you know, from low vibration people, places or situations, that's one aspect of your life you know, and it could be from a past life, etc. That's all fine. That's just one small piece, you know, it, it doesn't mean that that's going to be the end all be all cure of everything in your life, right? Because we are multifaceted beings, uh, right? And there's a lot going on. And we've experienced so much. And this is, I, it seems like this is the time and place where we're doing like a clean sweep of our energy field from like multidimensionally from all times and places and situations, right? So that's also yeah. why it might seem like there's just so much and it's like nothing is changing, nothing is shifting, nothing is happening because it's like coming from everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is a time that we're actually being called to let it go so that we can move into, not necessarily the new earth per se, but move into being more of, a, more of who we, we are, right? Yeah, right. My dog is running around. I have to move for a second. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it feels strange. It feels different, and even to people who've been doing healing for a long time, it is feeling different. So we're having to get used to it as well. And um, 
it's, it is a gradual process. You, you, I mean, some things do just go, but I, I used to say, you know, the stuff left over from my PTSD just went. It did just go like that. But I'd been working on that for five years before that point. <laughs> That was, I, I'd obviously done everything towards it and my system was like, okay, whatever was the last bit is ready to go now. But I find everything is like, like you're saying with dissolving the cords as well or, or letting something go. I find it's almost like bartering with that, that bigger part of yourself to go, is it okay to, oh, well, if I let go of that, what might happen? If I let go of that, you know will I be um, stronger? Will I feel weaker? You know, if I let, but that, all that fight and battle with that person made me stronger. If I let go of that, will I lose that strength? So it's almost like bartering a little bit going, okay, well, I'm working in, in whatever way feels right for you with love and light, with frequencies, with colors, which is mainly how I work now. Um, but however you work with your guide source, just to, be gentle with yourself, you know, and, and wrap that part of you wherever any discomfort, uncomfort, judgment, resistance is coming up and just go, okay, I, I honor and acknowledge that part and where this part is at right now. And what's this part need right now? You know, maybe it needs a, a, a good rant, you know, mm -hmm. maybe it needs to pick up a book. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to go to the, what does this part need? I'll pick up that book and there's a sentence in there and it reminds me, oh yeah, I heard that thing about, oh, what's that feel like now? You know, it's something. Yeah. It's not linear. It's not logical. It's tapping into that energy that, that knows the words that are in the book on the bookcase over there or knows that if you go outside, you'll bump to the, into the right lady walking her dog at the same time, who will just be the right conversation that you needed on that day, you know, or yeah, all of those absolutely. wonderful things. But you have to be willing to ask the question, right? You have to be willing yeah. to say, okay, what is this and what do I need now? What does this piece of me need now? What does this part of me need now? What does this aspect of me need now that is hurting, right? Yeah. What does it need now? Yeah, I love that. So, um, you know, and that's again a being a being aware, right? So how can the cosmic light codes that you work with, how can they assist people to move forward, especially when like, you know, some of us are saying, nothing seems to be working right now. So how can they assist us to move forward? <laughs> okay, so um, I've always kind of worked on clearing blocks in that old systematical way, I was saying. So the cosmic light codes is a lot more fluid uh, and it really, I'm tuning into your whole space and your light body. So the old way I used to work, I'd energetically tune into your body, get messages from your body, which still tells you a lot about what's going on energetically. But with the cosmic light codes, I'm um, intuitively scanning and tuning into your whole space and your whole light body. And then I just pick up on whatever whatever theme topic it is you want to work on or if you don't know my um ask your guides and my guides what we're going to work on and i'm just shown or have a feeling or i'm drawn to a space in your energy sometimes it's visual sometimes it's just feeling and we literally follow follow that frequency follow that frequency and that pattern and we go back to the beginning and um, with love, light and color and using cosmic light codes, which is high frequency, high frequency energetic codes of light, which I just see as sort of sparkly balls that come down in different colors, very fast um, and bring those to that area. And it really changes the energy at the beginning of that place and time. Um, and quite often I find it's from... Uh, way way back before earth <laughs> not always so you know sometimes it can be earth stuff um but it tends to be patterns that we we certainly wouldn't even think where they've come from and so we go to the root of that we change all that we clear all the timelines where that has been repeated from then to now and where that's affected you other planets other light workers other people and anything that's been it's really about harmony and disharmony so that's what I've really learned with this work is it's it's bringing your frequency and your light back into its original harmony of your soul essence so that you can be in that pure flow again, because we think linear sort of back in time a long way, but actually 
everything's happening now, we're millions of years old, and we're as young as a, a, a morning piece of dew all at the same time. So it's only our brain candy that's having to go to a certain place and heal it. But I follow the frequencies. Sometimes it's big, sometimes it's little, never know what it's going to be. Sometimes it's beings, sometimes it's contracts. Sometimes we've agreed to carry certain collective frequencies to help with planet Earth shifting stuff now. Sometimes it's a lot more personal. I had somebody who, she had this theme. It's a really good example, actually. Um, I've been working with somebody who had this theme of feeling ignored and not acknowledged. And we've worked on it a little bit before um, with the old way that I used to work. And she said, oh, I heard you doing something new. We'll work on that and can I try some? And um, we got guided to, she was a planet and mm. she was the spirit of this planet. And actually she had very nice beings living on her to start off with, but there were some wars. Um, it was, I don't know where, a very long way back. And um, because of the wars around the planet, uh, that planet had felt threatened and some people who weren't consciously aware and in touch with their light had come and inhabited her and just taken all her resources and not treated her with any respect. And she just held on to that. So we went back and we healed all that. We gave the planet everything that it needed. We changed all that in the timelines, um, brought it back up to now. And yeah, and it's gone. Awesome. So. You know, and that's the thing. It's like, you don't know when you start to do a process or healing or clearing what's going to show up. You think no. your, your conscious mind thinks one thing, but at the soul level, you know, something else may show up, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I, I mean, I found that before I used to work this way, that I, I'd sort of think, oh, I, I know it's going to be a belief or a th no, it was always something completely wacky and weird and a direction we never thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, this is really, you're working on yourself and the planet at the same time, because we are ourselves and the earth and all the planets and source. All and so ones. on yeah absolutely yeah. but it's it's really reconnecting with your soul essence reconnecting with who you are and cleaning cleaning up your vibration retuning it mm -hmm. I, th I think is the best way yeah beautiful i love sense? it i'm i'm as you can tell i'm not crystal clear on how i talk about this yet <laughs> that's okay and that's the thing you know like when i do my healing clearing work i don't know what i'm doing either like i can't describe it i know it works and uh, you know it, it's in the moment whatever's coming through you know with my with my team but how, how do I describe it? I don't know. But it's like, you know, it's whatever the team wants to bring in for that person, you know, specifically yeah. for that person or, or group, you know. So it's okay. It, it's just about, you know, trusting it and um, knowing that it's, it's working yeah. or doing what it is supposed to do, you know. Yeah. Um, all right. So I, I wanted to take some caller, caller questions, but uh, <laughs> we've just been talking so much. It's like, ah. We, we took we took some questions, of course, but um, there was something Lise, Lise had written in a while ago, which I totally missed. Sorry, Lise. One second, let me see if I can find it. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, yeah. So um, I don't. I'm not sure if Philippa can answer this because this is not for you. It's for your husband. Uh, Lise is asking, would love to know what is going on with my husband, Tom's sudden severe left thigh gripping pain and low back with no injury now. He did have a huge back pain episode 10 years ago. So again, without injury, injury and what he should do about it now. Okay. Uh, I don't usually scan without somebody's permission. I don't yeah. use the same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, it's like, I, I wouldn't answer that myself because, you know, Tom's not here. I mean, some, some, I always say when I teach things, you know, it's up to you. Yeah, yeah. But so he, me he's, personally, he's, I don't feel comfortable. What I can tell you is what I know about the left hand side and lower back area energetically and see if that's any help. So he gives permission um, to be worked on. Oh, he gives permission to be. Okay. What's his name? Tom. Tom. And where is he? Where is he, Lise? Lise? Where is Tom? Where, where are you in the world? Where are you in the world? Philadelphia. In the U.S., Northern Hemisphere, Pennsylvania. Okay. 
Oh, more like New Jersey, near Philadelphia. Yeah, that oh, tri-state that's area. Okay. That's yeah. okay. I've, I've said to Saul, so it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm feeling like it's it starts right up here and it's right down the back there. It's almost like sciatic nerve pulling down the side in the back. Um, So I'm feeling that it's linked with his family. So I don't know, has something going on with his family at the moment? Or something come back up that's not been resolved with his family? It's quite difficult doing them by chat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not easy doing it by chat. <laughs> Easier when you're actually talking to Philippa. So I'm, if it's, I've got permission, so while we're just waiting for an answer about the family, I'm just going to send him some healing mm -hmm. and just ask for any, um, any unresolved... At least so his mother died seven years ago. Okay. Anything else with family? Any male members? Patterns? Lisa, I'll, I'll go ahead and unmute you one second and see if I can find you. I can't find you. Oh, there she is. Can you unmute yourself, Lise? Hi. There you go. Hi. Hi, Lise. I'm so sorry. It's really not easy doing it by message and waiting. It's much easier yeah, to that's, speak that's to fine. you. <laughs> that's fine. And he was awake a moment ago and he just managed to fall asleep, but he's, he's open to any help. Um, oh, okay. He's, if he's, he's sleeping, we can't uh, ask him too much. So I will just send some healing. But yeah, it felt like it's really at the back of his thigh um, rather than the front. and. It feels He's like waking it's... up, so he might wake up. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, he it definitely seems kind of sciatica like. And and yesterday, once he finally managed to stand up, which was an ordeal, um, he was able to like stretch his arms up to the ceiling and said that felt good, kind of like an upper traction. But um, nothing has really happened new with his family except that we we are very out of touch with them because um, they were not very supportive to us uh, about five years ago when we went through some financial trauma. Okay, because um, if, if before I got his family, if, if I hadn't have had permission, what I was going to say is that left side for me is always a, a more about receiving. So right side is about taking action and left side is nearly always for me about receiving love and especially if it's lower back it's quite often relating to support as well so um it may be to do with that distance that you've got is bringing up that feeling of lack of support again um was there anything to do with lack of support like 10 years ago as well oh well 10 years ago um my father died and my father was like a second father figure to him and that summer he okay. just um we both what we both had our own ways of of having crises i had the emotional and he had the wake up one day and not be able to move out of bed and it took him like a month or two uh, okay. acupuncture and physical therapy and everything um but but there's nothing been except for like covid uh where you know there's there's some worry about finances but he's doing work from home his work from home okay um but i think so, like okay well that makes sense to the matter because then you said you his mom i thought no there's a male thing there as well so can i just um i've got his permission i'm just going to send some healing to him is that okay because uh, we don't have yeah. too long on here and i'm just going to cool. ask that any feelings uh just see if i can work on any feelings of unsupported um anything left over from that that distance or, or not being able to be supported or be close to family or feeling let down or anything like that so can i just bring love and light to that and we'll see yeah. what happens you can let alara know tomorrow <laughs> let me know then yeah okay. thank you so much awesome thank you lise good
So definitely about support, receiving. Yeah, and if it's lost dad 10 years ago and then maybe just COVID's brought up that feeling again. Who yeah. knows? It's all everything's intensified in this time, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'll send awesome. a bit more when I go to bed. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. All right, Pat, do you want to unmute yourself? Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, Pat. Is there something I need to release? That's okay, pretty just, big. Okay. <laughs> is there anything specifically that yes, is... Yes, um... it's, it's like off balance, you know, when I walk. Okay, you feel off balance when you walk. Okay. So do I have permission just to send some love, light and healing and just have a little tune into your space? Would that be okay? Yes, okay. definitely. Thank you. But you are looking good, Pat. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Because I know you've had this had this issue, this challenge for quite a while, but you're looking good. I know. I know. I keep trying to ground and you know do breath work and everything. Yeah. Good. Yeah, because I was I was just going to say just when I'm tuning in, it really feels all around this head area. Yeah, and it is. It's all around the head. It's just like here, 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 but. When I tune into your energy, so I was thinking, okay, so she needs some grounding. You know, you feel like super grounded. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, do I have permission just to ask a source to bring in the highest and best light codes just to, to work on without us needing to know exactly what it is to, to balance whatever's going on there? Would that be okay? And just yes, close your eyes, just see what you feel, see what you see. And do I have permission to clear any um, devices or anything attached to your energy around this area that might be disrupting your balance or your field? Would that be okay? And can I just um, ask that your polarities are just aligned in the highest and best way for you in this moment? I'm feeling it in balance. Okay, Pat, when you're ready, just in your eyes, just let me know how you're feeling. How do you feel, Pat? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. What do you what did you feel and see? How are you feeling now? If you just take a breath. Well, I feel a little calmer, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was a polarity of some kind. Um it was very energetic so quite often if i get like here i feel like somebody's ungrounded or they're worrying too much but i really didn't get that from your energy at all but just this whole wobbly energy and then when i asked um if we could just bring in the healing that was needed i got like a, a little device that went out that was um disrupting your field a little bit and then just at the end it was like just lifting off some old stuff that wasn't yours and then once that had gone, then I asked to align your polarities. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I thought I was integrating new codes too. Yeah. Well, it all comes in as code. So yeah. <laughs> when, what go, when stuff goes out, new stuff comes in. It's like attuning your frequency back to what it should be and taking stuff out. So I'm a feeler rather than very visual. So I just sort of see the stuff go out and the stuff come in and pick up what I pick up. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank awesome. you. Thank you, Pat. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alara. You're welcome. All right, we're gonna to go to Caroline. You wanna unmute yourself, Caroline? Are you on the phone now, Caroline? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to get my, sorry, I'm gonna try okay. not to move my camera. My grandkids came over the weekend and I couldn't find a camera. Ah, okay, here no I worries. am. Oh. All right, what's going on? Here I am. <laughs> Where are you? I can't still see you. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't put, I would have to put the camera, I have to stand up and walk away to put the camera. So. Ah, okay, no worries. Um, That's all uh, right, we can, we can just talk. We can hear you. Yeah, hello, hello. I just wanted to say your work is perfect and beautiful. Um, and just the fact that you're answering impromptu and all that, and it feels very congruent. So your perfection, first of all. So, oh, thank you. Here I am. <laughs> Somewhere Yay, around. we can see you. Hello. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Um, if you could please uh, check in. I have a few inclinations as to what it is, but always good to have a beautiful healer like yourself uh, look at look at it from your point of view. Um, my feet, my my calves in both legs. Okay. And having trouble when I get up either from my computer, from walking or doing too much cleaning having trouble literally walking. Okay. Okay. So do I have your permission just to um, send you a bit of healing and tune into yeah, your space? Please. Would that be okay? Okay, do you spend a lot of time on the computer? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> so I'm getting quite a lot of uh, almost like electrical radiation and it's like almost trying to ground mm. through your feet. So they're feeling quite heavy and like they need to be really connected to the ground when you get up. So can I just do a bit of clearing on that for you and then we'll just please. check in with them again and just see how they feel? Yeah, please. Um, whenever I take radiation out, it just source just fills you, it fills it in with lovely sparkly light. Is that all right? So it's like a bit of a cleanse and a healing at the same time. Okay, just tell me how you're feeling. Where I'm feeling it, it is, I, I felt some tingling in my crown chakra, like, like it was opening, and then I felt it seep through, and then it just kind of sat right here in, in my inner vision and in my sinuses. Okay. That's where, yeah. So, um, whenever I come in once i've got your permission it's always just through the top of your head and it'll go wherever it's needed most i saw the stuff going out from your um ankles but there's very much around our pineal gland as well um, and where are you feeling stuck and something <laughs> about the color dark blue so did you see the color dark blue yeah and where am i feeling stuck yeah uh. I, 
it's, it has to do with my marriage and, and what I said in the beginning where do we get ever to a place where it's just ease and grace or will we always have issues? Okay. I think so it kind of feels like being humans going through mud or it's a bit that, yeah, <laughs> I can see the look on your face. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So do I have um, permission to um, first send unconditional love, light and honor um, your, your feet, your lower part of your body for letting you know that you are so ready to move into a lighter vibration and let go of being stuck in what I call the shit layer. Is that all right? It's you like the, the dense vibrations, you know, and we're, it's like we've got out mostly, but our wellies are still in there and we want to get off and be able to dust it off on the mat and not drag it around. So let's honor that part of you and say thank you for letting you know. And do yeah, I have permission? In my caps right now. Oh, lovely. Okay. And um, can we clear any any vibrations that you're running, active in your vibration, that life on earth is hard, being human is hard, any vows of struggle, would that be okay? Yes, please. Um, have to struggle to be close to God, any of those, would that be okay? And anything similar that is causing your calves and your feet to feel stuck. And Philip, like these clearings that you're doing for Caroline, these are also oh, for everybody. You can hop on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to, just piggyback. Yeah, jump on. And if anyone would like to, can we clear any any obligations? of feeling like you have to stay in that poo layer. Would that be okay? Yes. That no longer serve your highest good, obviously. And can we remind your whole being what it feels like to live and be in a lighter vibration? Because you know it, you remember it. And we remind that part of you to reactivate yes. to just the right level for you right now. And let's just see if we can clear that frequency of feeling like mud, <laughs> thick mud for the planet at the same time. Oh, that was nice. Okay. So just tell me um, what you're feeling now. Oh, I felt, yeah, I felt tears going through and I'm, I'm feeling literally in the muscles of my calf. I, I'm feeling like, uh, like there's a pin, a pin going through it, trying, trying to unlock it. Lovely. Yeah. Heavy duty. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Caroline. Thanks, my beauty. Right, that was awesome. Um, all right, so Diana had a question. Diana, you want to? So just before we get to Diana, um, I'm oh. just going to, yeah, just one second, Diana. It's okay. But I was going to say to Deborah and to somebody else, um, Carrie, I think, the questions were too vague. Because Deborah was asking, could you do a clearing on me, please? Well, it was too vague. And Carrie had the same sort of thing. It's like, I feel a block and I don't know what it is. Can you help, please? So, you know, that's, for me, that's a little disempowering. You know, if you would like support, help, you know, then, you know, ask for what it is specifically, okay? So, all right, go ahead, Diana. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Diana. Hi. Um, you're from Australia, right? Uh, UK. 
Oh, sorry, the UK. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I was That's gonna right. say. I was just gonna say. I'm gonna go to Australia. Hopefully in January. I said I hope to see you there. <laughs> uh, that'd be lovely. It'd be lovely if I go to Australia in January, but I don't think so. <laughs> yes, it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, so I have a massive, massive, massive. Um, how do you explain this? Uh, I wouldn't say hate. I would um, con con thank you conflict uh, with my dad and my parents. It's almost as like I I swear to you I was adopted because we are just so different. Um, uh, and um, I, um, so I'll speed it along. Um, I I feel like um, I don't I don't mean to be a bad daughter, but I almost feel like I don't want to take care of them. I don't really want to be too involved in them. Um, you know, this sense of detachment has been created through our, throughout the years, since I was small, a teenager, and then as a college student, and now as an adult. So um, uh, I guess I need help with cleaning with that, uh, with that, um, I guess, um, animosity, that conflict, that frustration, that, um, I guess, I guess in Obligation. some way, hate. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Great, great word. Obligation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you can help me with that. Okay. Okay. So there may be some, we'll, we'll do what we can do now. And I'm feeling like it might be uh, good to make this the group process. I was going to do a totally different group process, but I'm feeling now this might be quite useful for people. So yep. we could do this as a kind of, uh, let's do some dissolving chords. Sure. A bit of yeah. Comic deck clearing. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. It's not not what I planned at all, but let's go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so, you. Um, there may be when we're doing it like this, it's very hard because it's not a, a full session. You know, we're we'll dive a bit deeper, and I don't want to go too personal on a call right. here. So, don't but, worry if you do. It's okay. <laughs> but quite often, when there's that much you know friction. friction it's not from just here guaranteed oh okay yeah yeah there's gonna be there's gonna be some past life stuff there may oh. be some unresolved karmic debts there may be some family stuff there may be you know you were yeah. from one planet and they were from the planet of the exact <laughs> your planet and you've got that in your cellular memory light field so you're like on some level, your system is like, you came and invaded my planet and blew everyone on you up. You know, it can be that. It really can be. And yes. that stuff will really, really get in the way. So let's do, without going too personal, but on something I think will be quite powerful. Yeah. Okay, sure. We'll do some dissolving some chords. And the, the karmic debts I can't do for you but I can talk you through doing for yourself but we okay, can do sure. some core dissolving okay no problem yeah, I will see good. you again anyway so I will okay. be making a session with you because <laughs> it's just for isn't it isn't it incredible how human has so much stuff yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we volunteered you know I, I always no. think isn't it amazing i'd love to write a book going you know sort of aliens have been here forever we're all aliens you know we're we're all from other planets and other places because we're all eternal beings you know and we we all went wow earth physical stuff we can go and create what we like and we've just got we got a bit lost on this this physicalness and and then we went into a bit of a, a, a struggly story and then some other stories and frequencies because that was low vibration got attracted from other places and went into that and it's 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 yeah. got a bit behind you know and it so now they're throwing everything you know they can to come and help us get back where we're meant to be by now for all the planetary alignments to go into this higher vibration about where we were always meant to be is meant to be fun and I'm sure it is possible. And I, without going into too much, I've been through piles and piles of poo. And um, <laughs> as you do. Yeah. And all the, uh, well, that's, what, that's what we do. That's why we do healing, isn't it? We don't, we don't do healing because our lives are all perfect and shiny and neat. You know, we come to this stuff and, and look what it does. It brings us 
closer to ourselves. It brings us closer to source. It brings us closer to each other with more compassion and understanding and remembering who we really are. So it's all very important stuff. But yeah, we've been stuck in this, uh, my guide. So and I said, you know, I, I, I had totally different ideas for, I was like, I'm going to go on Lara, you know, what should I do? And they just drew a circle. And <laughs> I was like, great, I'm going to talk about a circle. And they were like, no, it's a circle. And there's another circle. And I was like, eventually I got it. It was like, ah, oh, repeat patterns that are in this low vibration field. And we are leaping into a new chapter of a high vibration, higher vibrational field where those can't be. It's, it's like your phone um, or your computer, you know, is eight years old. You know, you love it and you're hanging on for dear life. I don't <laughs> want to get Windows 10 and have those updates, but <laughs> it can't function unless you have the upgrades unless you, you you have that stuff i understand that you just described me in my computer i saved it like three times i resuscitated it <laughs> i think i think working on the, the letting go thing would be fun. Okay. so let's do some core dissolving it's what i like to do i just find cutting a bit aggressive okay so um, what I'd like you to do, and you can piggyback if you'd like to. So if you, obviously, if you want to piggyback, you've probably got someone in mind or a situation or a place that you would like to do this with. It can be any of those. So what I would like you to do first is just to place your hand on your heart and just to really acknowledge the love and light that you are, the source energy within you. Whether that feels comfortable or not, that's what and who you really are. So just acknowledge that for a moment. And as you do, you may imagine that that area is starting to light up or you might just feel that feeling of connection or you might just feel some warmth. And whatever that looks like and feels like for you, just allow that to, you know you've put your attention on that with love for a moment, just allow that to expand lighting up all of the other cells around your heart, lighting up all the space around your cells, lighting all of you up, all of your body, expanding out beyond your skin, lighting up all of the layers of your auric fields and your light body, forming the most beautiful golden bubble of light although quite often it looks like a geometric pattern now, but whatever shape it is, forming a beautiful layer around you, creating a sacred space, your sacred space. And just before we start, we're just going to set an intention to connect with our heart, with our light, with the love light and support of that new ascending earth energy of that new light of vibration that we're anchoring here that we're moving into and you might imagine that as a beam of light or your feet stretching down to touch the roots of that and then notice the most beautiful sparkling golden wave of light just coming down connecting through the top of your soul star chakra through the top of your light body connecting with your heart so there's your heart the heart of new earth and the heart of source energy okay lovely now we're ready so in this lovely beautiful bubble or grid your space I would like you to think of the person place or situation that you would like to clear some animosity between clear um whatever's whatever you'd like to clear and i'd like you first when you think of that person place or situation to notice where that is in relation to your bubble so just notice and put them in a bubble too put them in their own bubble but notice what color shape theirs is if it's behind you, slightly above you, slightly below, to your left, to your right, in front of you. 
So if it's behind you, it's very much tied with a lot of past stuff going on. If they're right in front of you, then that is really getting in the way of you moving forward and, and doing what you want to do and being who you want to be. If they are too close and it makes you feel uncomfortable, you might just feel a certain emotion coming up for you when you're aware of their bubble, or you might feel something emanating from them. And remember, they are just an energy or frequency as well, playing out something that needs to be healed. And I'd just like you to ask Source to let you know and show you any cords connecting you to their bubbles. And just notice where they are, if they're upper body, lower body, mm. right at the bottom, if they're little tiny strings, if they're big chunky ropes, the texture of them. So often, if they're lower body, there's a lot of stuff about security, need, but also taking. Um, they're not connected from that more open heart space so just notice where those are for you there's nothing right or wrong about that okay and then we're just going to ask source that you keep all the strengths qualities and highest and best learnings that your soul has gained from this connection and exchange ready to get rid of anything that doesn't and you're going to ask to keep only what serves your soul's highest good from because <clears throat> it might be through all this fighting you developed a lot more determination you know there might be qualities and strengths you gain so we want to keep those so you're just going to set an intention with source you keep all of that good stuff as love light and color and just notice what colors feelings are present where you're aware of them in your body in your energy field in your light body in your space we're going to ask to hand back to source any contracts or ancestral um, debts, karmic debts, family karmic debts, or if it's not, if it's a place, any um, debts, contracts, and agreements with that place or situation that no longer serve your highest good. I'm going to ask that any of those are handed back to source now, that are highest and best to be, and that you both know how it feels to be released from those. And again, just notice what that looks like and feels like. It might be very visual. You might just notice them and their bubble moving further away or changing colour. So just noticing what happens during the process. You might notice just from doing that that the chords change. Okay, so then Source is going to bring in the highest and best love, light and frequencies to dissolve those cords with love, light and healing and then bring that healing to you and to them, bringing you both back everything you needed. And you may find they all go, you may find some of them go, you might find some change, just let it be what it is. The wisdom of your soul and source knows exactly what needs to happen.
And then we're just going to ask that source just adjusts your light codes, brings in the love and light codes for you to feel more whole and complete and free than you have before and to clear any residual feelings of anger or guilt or any low vibration feelings left over from that connection just to clear your field of that completely bring you back into alignment with more of your own light And when that feels complete for you, just bring your awareness back to your heart space, back to your bubble. You might want to bring your bubble in a little bit, or you can leave it there, whichever feels comfortable for you. Just put your feet on the ground, become aware of the chair you're sitting on, your feet on the floor. And when you're ready, just come back and open your eyes. And first of all, notice if you feel lighter or heavier. Oh, I feel at peace. Definitely lighter. Good. So light, lighter and heavier is always a good measure because then any, anything that's lower vibration that we're holding onto that's clogging up our light, if you like, is heavier. It's not always negative. So I don't like negative and positive with it because something heavy might be showing us, you know, something wonderful mm. is about to be healed. But um, yeah, every time you shift some of that, you let more of your light in and you feel lighter. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, go on. Sorry. Oh, no, no, go ahead. I was just going to say if, immediately, if you think of your mum and your dad now, <laughs> tell me what, what you notice now. Um, um, I don't really think much of them right now. Is that so bad? No. So it, does it feel a little bit more distant? Yes, when you uh, uh, when you uh, went through the whole thing and you said if they're in the back or in the front, they were actually in the front, um, opposite sides, and they were actually going further and further apart. Okay, uh, it, I'm not sure what that means. Space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving you a bit more space as well, but it's um, yeah. Usually, like when so when something's that much friction, or you only right. have person's name and your body's like I'm ready for battle <laughs> you know so then if I say think of them now and you go oh, I can't really think of them that much I'd say that's a bit of a measure there's something stuff but I mean give it to I, I always think there's healing you know integration activation healing integration and then embodiment and I think they're they're as important as the healing so just let that settle a little bit all right perfect uh, the cord was light I had two cords one on on the the on the um the waist and one above, but the one above uh -huh. was lighter than the one in the waist. What does yeah. that mean if it's in the waist? Um, well, was it like lower tummy or literally belly button or um, more solar plexus? Below the belly button. Below the belly button. Okay, so, right? so that's like our, yes. our creative center. So I was thinking chakras, that's like, you know, secure base chakras like food, shelter, you know. <laughs> I need things to be yeah. yeah and then the the sacral chakra is more like okay who do I want to be in the world who am I that creative force so if it's it's also like being ourselves so if it was like mm. a big and heavy cord there it's like not being able to be myself yes you know, all that kind of stuff exactly that's exactly what it is who I ought to be and what I ought to be doing and things like that usually exactly Yes. Thank you so much. I feel so much better. I was in like, I was not in a good state. <laughs> and that was oh. only one conversation with my dad. <laughs> so thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. We'll have another session again for sure. Okay. But notice if anything shifts from that, because you may find more shifts than you think. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. okay. Good shifts, I hope. Yeah. 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 Because you've like cleared a bit. You've cleared. Awesome. Some. Thank you so much. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you. Thank you, Diana.
Thank you. Make sure you I drink lots water. of water. Okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, I need my pint now. Mm. <laughs> exactly. Um, Caroline says, since we called it a lot of poo, I have to say, holy crap, wow. Powerful process. Thank you, Philip. And mine was in front and cords disconnected, and I felt so light, and the light grounded into my legs, feet, and earth. Wow, thank you. Good. Not awesome. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So yeah, that was a great process for everybody because we all have cords, you know, to other people, places, and situations that we can now dissolve so that we can, you know, move forward in some way. Yeah. Right? I, 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 one of my best, best friends, she had this shoulder thing for years and we'd do a bit and it would go and then it would come back again and we'd do another layer. And it was, uh, in the end I was like, thoughts, what the, root of this come on we've done layers and layers and it was uh she'd uh been a knight somewhere and, and had made an oath to the land and to the people there and when we cleared it she felt about six foot taller mm, so it's nice like it changed shape as well yeah wow nice <laughs> good awesome all right so um yeah let us know how that was for you type in the chat and let us know um, in the meantime, I wanted to talk a little bit about your special offer that you have for us today, Philippa. So yep. that is available at, um, if you're on the live page, you can just click on special offer. If you're not, you can click the link here in the chat or go to alara.at forward slash show forward slash Philippa eight. And so I think there's, there's two packages, right? Yeah. So package A is um, three live Zoom calls plus a bonus MP3 and then package B is everything in package A plus a 60 minute private cosmic loads, um, cosmic light code session via Zoom with Philippa. So, and this, this package is, is all about clearing repeat patterns and embracing a new chapter, is that right? Yes, I've called it Quantum Leap Series because um, it's gonna help you shoot forward a bit into, into aligning more with your freak. Really, it's, it's a tuning with your light, a tuning with who you really are and letting go of everything that's not you. You know all the all the stuff we've collected along the way that's let our beautiful fast vibration which had to come down a bit lower vibration to to be here but now here is raising up again and that is coming back to me up so yeah it's um clearing we're going to be clearing earthly and galactic uh vows contracts karmic debts um going to be doing slightly deeper and more di dissolving cords and reclaiming multi-dimensional soul fragments because we are a frequency so mm -hmm. you know that i quite often end up doing a session on like seven aspects of somebody all at once in different places all over the place and um which probably sounds a bit daunting when i say it like that but it's not <laughs> it's not that we are here we are us yeah. but we are a frequency and we can through great love and also through great trauma through soul contracts and agreements um we can it's not like we leave bits of ourselves but you know you, you could think of a person in place and you're like suddenly really deeply sad or mm -hmm. you know you, you can't get over that you, you you left a certain place or something like that so we, we leave like a, a, a patch of our energy that isn't in alignment with that high vibration of who we are so we're going to do a, a lot of clearing and then a bringing back together to make us more multi-dimensionally whole and complete and what we're doing on the first oh and then third week we're going to be activating new chapters and timelines so it's like clearing making whole and complete and um then moving forward awesome good and then there's a bonus guided in um, mp3 as well yeah um which again didn't go quite as i planned i planned i was going to do one thing and then i sat down and it came out completely <laughs> <laughs> so it's um it's a, a a light body activation it's stepping into um a light chamber and um working with ascended rays to do a bit of healing a bit of rebalancing and just bring you more into alignment and feel good hopefully <laughs> awesome thank you so that's package a and then package b again is all of that plus a 60 minute personal session with you so what does that look like, the personal session with you? Okay, so I hold all my personal sessions via Zoom. Uh, you can book them through my website and Alara 
I think when you buy the package, you get a code from Alara. So then mm -hmm. um, you can adjust that to any time, your time zone, wherever you are. Um, it's good to have something that you would like to work on. I, I do do sessions where people are like, I haven't got a clue, let's just see. And I will just ask my guides and your guides and we'll start and see where it goes. But um, I, I'm very big on intention. So I find, you know, even if you've got intention of some area in your life or yourself where you would like to experience more fullness, more wholeness, experience a big shift, a big change, or there's something you really want to get away from, um, like change an old pattern um, or, or, or something that you don't understand where it's coming from, then having that intention, then that's already starting to work with the energy of source and what we're working with as well. So just personally, I find that the most helpful. And then I intuitively um, scan your system. We place you, uh, so we, me and my guides, so put you in a lovely golden grid while we're working. Um, it's a specific grid for the intention and the thing that we want to be working on. And then literally go and find what's disrupting those frequencies. So it's really about clearing things that are disrupting or lowering the vibration of your true soul essence frequency and reconnecting things that need reconnecting so that you can be fully more you here and feel fabulous. Awesome. Um, so that is package A and package B and Caroline is asking how far ahead are sessions being booked? Okay, so uh, not too far. Um, what date are we now? 11th of August. Uh, I, think, I think I've got a few left in August um, and then September, so not too far. Yeah, okay. so usually sort of a week to two weeks. Some, sometimes two weeks is fully booked, sometimes I have the odd one, it depends what time if it fits in with you yeah um, awesome good and uh caroline saying my calves are now all tingly and i've never had this sensation unless i sat in lotus for a long meditation oh lovely <laughs> good, good good yeah good <laughs> awesome all right so those two special offers package a and package b are available at laura.at forward slash show forward slash philippa eight so please do take advantage of them, take a look at them, see which one resonates with you. But definitely if you like to, you know, work more deeply with Philippa, then get package B so that you can work one on one and really clear out what some of these patterns are, these repeating patterns are that are no longer working for you. And so that you can move forward with more ease, you know, because it is possible to have more ease in this lifetime. Okay. It's not all about struggle. You know, I no, mean, we, definitely. I've cleared a ton of stories of struggle and definitely right? you, you do see the improvement and you get to be on the other side of it, don't you? You know, <laughs> Laura. Exactly. I mean, yeah, sure. There are some times when it's not so much fun, but there are also times when there's, it's like, oh my God, so much fun. Right. So it's like, yeah. you can have both, but sometimes when there, it seems like things are just continuously stuck, that's when you need to like, do a session for sure you know do some work with somebody you know to get it unstuck um but i mean like i don't get a lot of sessions you know like i think i've had two this year it's only it's august but i've had two this year you know so it's not that's not bad you know <laughs> um so you know but i also do work regularly on myself but getting help from somebody else with just two this year it's not bad <clears throat> so it's not all the time <laughs> I'm, I'm missing bars i love having my bars run i know you know, right i haven't been able to with lockdown <laughs> not the same running your own it's not it's not um all right so was there anything else that you wanted to share with us philippa you or your team uh, mm -hmm. oh <laughs> they got me to write a poem the other day. No, I'm not sharing that at the moment. I might share that another time. That's a bit okay. too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, well done. Yeah, just it's time to remember that you are the light. Yeah, you are the light. Absolutely. We forget you we get we, we get caught up in our head and those repeating patterns we got caught up in the body and everything else but we forget that we are the light 
And yeah, so as the like, light, it's there. I'm so little here, and the lights are lovely and up there. No, you no. are. The, so that's it. They don't. When they do speak, they don't say a lot. My guides. Yeah, and that's or the thing. Now is it's the time for your light to shine, for you to radiate your light. You know. Yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Philippa. Powerful. Okay. You know, session. The, the the process that you did today was powerful, and also all of the other clearings and activations that you did for people they're they, they weren't just for the people who are asking they're for everybody so please do go back and listen and or watch this again so that you can take advantage and piggyback like Philippa was saying on those questions as well you know on that healing as well okay so be willing to receive okay even if your question doesn't get asked be willing to receive the energies frequencies vibrations clearings and healings from all the other work that we did okay so awesome Good. Lovely. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Philippa. This was awesome, wonderful. Thank you, everybody, for all your questions as well. I hope I didn't miss any too many. <laughs> so until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now. Lovely. Thanks, Ed. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone.